Hi everyone, Shane Armand Rowe here, and today we're gonna look at the NVIDIA app. This is in beta, of course. This NVIDIA app is the replacement for the GeForce experience, and eventually will replace the nasty NVIDIA control panel that I don't think seen an update like in 18 years or something crazy like that. So I've already installed the thing. Once you install it, it will remove GeForce experience, but it does leave the control panel just in case there's a feature that hasn't quite made it here yet. They want you to have access to everything. We're gonna go through it all. We're gonna do this pretty quick, but I would like to um, show you around just a little bit because I think this is worth looking at. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up full screen here. And uh, you do not have to be logged in anymore, by the way. This is something great. Now, I logged in uh, for some freebie redemption, right? But I could log out. And uh, now that I'm logged out, I can still get driver updates. That made people mental. Why do I have to log into your crap in order to get a driver update for your hardware? That's all gone now, which is great. That is That alone is worth moving to this, especially if you're concerned about telemetry tracking and all that other good stuff. All right, so let's go ahead. So the home screen has uh, some of your library stuff in here, sort of just like a, a standard launch screen, pimping out their latest stuff, that sort of thing. And of course, uh, they have their little uh, carousel here talking about, uh, you know, things that may be available to you. So actually, it's kind of useful. It's not just crap. It's something that might be somewhat useful. In the driver's area, and this is nice. So I've already installed my latest driver. I don't have anything to upgrade to right now, but uh, it does uh, give you a nice little breakdown here about what's fixed, um, the software, there's support for RTX HDR, which I'm not gonna show off today, but I'll put it in another video if you guys are really interested in seeing it. Optimal game settings, right, for Pacific Drive and Nightingale, Skull and Bones. So that's really nice. I mean, it's uh, pretty much on par, just a nicer layout than it used to be. And if we go over to graphics, so everything has been replaced with this super slick looking, uh, here's all your games, here's all your apps, here's what's been optimized, here's what hasn't. And when you go to each one, it will tell you uh, what in-app settings were changed. Uh, something big would probably be something like uh, Titanfall, right? So it will give you a nice breakdown. Everything's a little bit cleaner. And it does have this interesting slider here for performance versus visual. And so as you as you slide this along, I assume that you're going to get different values based on this. So this is kind of cool. Like if you if you know for a fact that you know this this tool always overindulges you, right? It thinks you have better hardware than you have or whatever, and you're sort of a I'm a medium player kind of guy. You can see exactly how it's going to change things for you. And, you know, they could almost make this an FPS slider, which is kind of cool. Um, but this is what we got, quality versus performance. I love that. That's really, really cool. That's a nice little upgrade uh, that we didn't have before. A couple of things here, resolution, display mode, that sort of stuff. Again, nothing mind-blowing, but still um, pretty impressive, if I do say so myself. Okay, so uh, let's see, and there's some filtering you can do here. Games, apt, optimized, unoptimized, photo ready. These are all very, very cool. I dig that a lot. You can add a program as you could before, uh, optimize all. So everything's kind of nice here. And then you have something called global settings. So these are items that uh, would probably normally end up in the NVIDIA app itself, the uh, control panel, if you will. Uh, uh, this this RTX HDR is something that's really exciting for me because this will do something about adding HDR through AI. So right now, Windows does something like that, right? I've got auto HDR from Windows turned on. I think I have HDR off right now while I'm recording. But uh, if you turn on HDR, disable auto HDR from Windows, then you'll get RTX HDR. And I think Digital Foundry has some videos on that if you want to see what that looks like. But I'm kind of excited about that. My monitor's G-Sync compatible, if that means anything to anybody anymore. But yeah, this is really cool. Um, you can choose, uh, you know, to take control of your shader cache size, all that good stuff. So that's pretty cool. Then, of course, you have this redeem thing, and I don't even know why I have this available to me, so I don't really care. Let's go to settings. So this is neat. There's a couple of really neat things I want to show you on here. First off, the, uh, the gaming rig, of course, it has all your data, but you can get something that has more details. Now, there's a lot of times I'm shooting a video, people are like, well, what, what's your what's your PC rated for? What's what's under the hood? I want to know. You showed me this great game, but let me see what you're running it on. 
Now you could always, you know, you always know that you're running, uh, you know, 16 or 32 gigabytes of RAM. You always know this, you always know that, but there's a lot of technical details that'd be really great. You know, you got your video card and you can just copy this text to the clipboard, which is cool because it used to have to do like an AI uh, scrape from the GeForce experiences uh, list. Breakdown of your uh, storage stuff. It's pretty cool. The NVIDIA overlay of courses here, game filters and photo mode, uh, drivers, you can turn that to automatically download, automatic uh, um, scanning of new games. And then, of course, you can pop open your NVIDIA control panel should you want to pop that uh, from here instead of going through, say, your SysTray. And that's pretty much it. You have control over your notifications. This is kind of nice, though. Um, you can, to some extent, right, you can turn off some of the telemetry here, which is great. Some people don't really want all that data going over to NVIDIA. I get it. You can opt in for early builds, all that good stuff. And of course, you can take a look at all of their privacy poli policies and all that good stuff. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, there's a lot of nice things in here. I will bring up that we do have to say goodbye to a feature, which is very, very sad. And the feature, of course, is game streaming. So if you have a Shield TV and you regularly uh, game stream or you're using Moonlight on whatever device and you were Using that Shield game streaming technology, I'm sorry to say it is officially gone as of this build. Will it come back? I doubt it. So you're going to have to look at some other uh, game streaming type technology to fill that gap. All right, so let's take a look at how the overlay has changed. Uh, you still use the Alt-Z to bring up the overlay, but look at this. It's nice and clean. It slides out of the side. Quick access to re turning on uh, recording, instant replay. Um, doing quick screenshots, all the sort of things that you would want to do with the NVIDIA stuff. Uh, the galleries up on top, good stuff here. Uh, automatic highlights, game filter, this is kind of cool. So you can add certain filters depending on what game it is that you're playing and you have complete control over the filters as well. Very powerful stuff, a lot of potential anyway. Turn your microphone on and off easily. Now here is, this is way cool. This allows you to put the exact kind of overlay that you want to show your uh, statistics for your graphics card. You can change the type of view, what's being shown, how much it's being shown. You can also change uh, where it is on the screen. You can have different, um, you can have different visible uh, or um, visibility options, such as uh, you can choose to um, add a backdrop, a black backdrop to it so that you can see it easier. All these things that you're seeing being done on the screen right now, it's very, very cool. And I think, I think it's a huge improvement, right? A lot of people love this uh, sort of Steam Deck look where you've got the things stacked on top of each other. It's, uh, it's really neat. I think this is a huge improvement. And of course you can see your little uh, preview down at the bottom here. I love it. I think that it's a much, much better system than they had before. And this alone is probably enough to make most people want to probably go ahead and upgrade to this app. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell. You want to see anything else? Would you like to see something with auto HDR? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm Shane Armandro. Thanks so much for watching and take care. We'll see you next time.